I am here with Todd Gray and his right hand woman. He is the artist behind this remarkable piece behind me. And Todd, I think it's funny your last name is Gray because yeah. it looks like you like a lot of color. Yeah, you know, gray is, there's not one speck of gray in this thing, except in the name. <laughs> so I'm sure you're wondering, where are we? We are in the finance district. We're walking up behind the Oculus. We see this incredible color, this piece. This is a story of rebuilding. This is where the second tower will be built. Todd, what is your inspiration for this piece? Well, the uh, inspiration actually was uh, the inspired by a sculpture that, that uh, I did. And I just took it as a three-dimensional sculpture that's actually traveling around the country right now in museums. And I just flattened it onto the wall. And, uh, you know, it's pretty dynamic and uh, colorful and uh, beautiful, actually. I think it really is. Uh turned out really nice, right? And you're still working on this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be finishing it up in the next two or three days. Oh, how long did this take you to make? Uh, I'd say uh, 16 uh, painting days, I think, with, with four people. Yeah, it was a lot. Oh, so there's such a thing as uh, painting days. Yes. Well, each in New York, there are. <laughs> yeah, in New York, it's been on and off with the weather. We can't predict it. So it's not a New York minute, guys. Yeah, yeah. No, it's 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 pretty gnarly. You know, it can be really super hot, or it can be a total rain day, which is really bad. And we finished it up the other day in the rain. So uh, you know, yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Do you, do you usually paint murals? No. <laughs> no? What do you usually paint? Uh, usually, I uh, do a lot of uh, three-dimensional sculptural type of work. Um, Mostly, yeah, and mostly showing galleries around the world, yeah. How did you get this opportunity? Uh, well, uh, we're looking at Mr. Peter Tuckman over there, and uh, <laughs> I would say mostly divine intervention, uh, angels, a lot of luck, and uh, working hard for 31 years and nine months. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Now, let's take a look here. You have a lot of different characters in this. Uh, we have a spaceship. There's yeah. some uh, fuzzy people over yeah. here. What is this representing? What are these characters, each this one? basically just uh, the type of work that I do on a daily basis. Mostly, I would consider myself a contemporary pop artist and uh, always use, I've always uh, historically used color and uh, just kind of used... Uh, Classic pop art, pop references, you know, whether or not they're stripes, polka dots, uh, hashtags, my name, a lot of comic references. We have Pal, like uh, all of, you know, Batman and Robin. And then at the last minute, one of the, one of the people from the Silverstein or organization kind of asked me to pepper it up, Mr. Robert Marcucci, <laughs> with uh, the, ro the rocket and the uh, saucer. <laughs> so, uh, so, Todd, can you show me what your favorite part is about this piece? Uh, I, I think my favorite part about this piece is the, the at Todd Gray underscore studios. <laughs> you are a character, man. <laughs> the, uh, no, really, uh, you know, I really love this part where it says Todd Gray, all you need is love, you need love, Todd Gray. I'm going to put another Todd Gray at the bottom tomorrow. Of course, uh, we're trying to brand ourselves with uh, POW. And you'll, you'll notice that the Todd Gray is like basically my shirt. Yes. Which, which you guys are both going to get before you leave. And, uh, yeah, but, yeah, you know, I, I, to be honest with you, I really am very, very happy. I was so uptight and nervous when we first started this. Oh, I bet. Because it was just like, this corrugation is so difficult to work with. Uh, there's no, there's no, nothing you can do to prepare for it because it's very difficult to do precise geometry on something so uh, non-flat. I mean, doing straight lines and curves on this, woo -hoo. Yeah, honestly, how did you accomplish that? Yeah, uh, a lot of hard work. It never got easier. And uh, <laughs> just being, and uh, you know, ultimately, I think that we're pretty good at what we do. <laughs> How did you? What? How big is your easel to paint something like this? Well, this my easel in this case was uh, 25 by 66. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Let's take a look around. Let's let's, let's see more of your. Do. Well, I don't know. We'll just. We should probably oh. step back because it's so it, enormous. It, it, it right. It is enormous. It's enormous. Look at those lips. Whose lips are those? Those are actually sort of like a comic character, but um, yeah, they're just like a comic character, but yeah, yeah, polka dots. We got a whole bunch of uh, pop references, and uh, we actually kept it kind of simple. You'll notice over there we have a uh, like a little reference to Andy Warhol. We have like Brillo. I don't know if you can see it, but to the right of Pow, it's really hard right here. But the B and the R, and the stripes are kind of like a nod to Liechtenstein, and. Uh, 
Yeah, you know, stuff like that. The, the splats are, are nods to, uh, you know, comic references. Of course, the hashtag is a very contemporary pop symbol. Oh, yes, you know? of course. And uh, then we have my favorite part of the whole thing right here, which is at Todd Gray underscore studios. The, uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's his message to New York. Make sure you hear that one. It's great to see this color here. You know, like finance can be kind of dull sometimes, yeah. and especially with this story, it's wonderful to have you here from L.A. Yeah. Do you think we'll see more of you in New York? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I show at galleries in New York, and, uh, you know, and uh, my, my girl Hillary here, she, uh, she doesn't go, I can't go anywhere without her, and I can't do anything without her, but, uh, you yeah. will definitely be back in the city for sure. Oh, yeah. That is wonderful. We'd love to have you back. One more question. Uh, what are people saying when they see this? What are some comments that you're hearing from our New Yorkers or New York tourists? Uh, you know what? Let's uh, put this over to Hillary here. Sure. She'll be able to. Hillary, what's up, girl? Well, uh, actually, interesting. Uh, interestingly enough, I was just sitting down, uh, drinking my coffee right before this interview, and a family sits down, and um, I was overhearing a woman say, "Oh, wow! You know, I've never seen this area." And uh, she says, "I definitely don't consider this, uh, you know, graffiti anymore." She's like, "This looks like real art." She's like, "Who is Todd Gray?" And I was going to respond, but I kind of was just enjoying her have the conversation. She's like, well, that looks like real art. Oh, and look, he has a studio. So, you know, we've had a lot of really good feedback. People, I mean, I've had a survivor of, you know, 9-11 come up and grinning ear to ear, so ecstatic about the color and the life. So many people have given us positive response. It's overwhelming. And uh, we're just grateful to be a part of this rebirth of the space People come up every day you know because we're painting out in the uh, out here we're like naked in front of tens of thousands of people a day and people are just oh my god this makes me so happy oh my god thank you very much oh this is so beautiful thank you you know an historically stodgy and kind of uh, financially you know gray area to be uh, putting this uh, burst of color here you know as they rebuild this uh it's like phoenix rising and and you know i think it took a little while for them to make these decisions to allow artists to come in and kind of uh revitalize this almost like a phoenix rising of some sort yeah, yeah. you know what it did take a while and it's yeah. so wonderful to add this chapter to our book here in new york or maybe even painting the cover guys it was so nice to meet you it was very nice to meet you thank you so much thank you for having us thanks thank you guys very much. cool that was wonderful so it worked. Okay, great. Oh. Okay, great. <laughs>